lots of money, it's true, because I worked very, very hard. I worked like six or seven nights a week yeah. for a long time, so just crazy How working and it's 12 hours a night. do that? Um, well, it, I was on heroin. Most of the other women weren't. and They, they weren't? No, and they didn't work as hard. Look, some women use diet pills and so on to get through a really long night. For energy? Yeah, for energy. Oh. Um, some women are just energetic and it depends really. What you've got to understand about sex work is there are so many parts, or sex, actual intercourse is part of it. Yeah. A lot of it is actually housekeeping, <laughs> so housework. You have to prepare the room, you have to do the towel arrangements, you have to straighten right. the sheets, you have to wash the shower down, you have to do all of that, you have to take the dirty towels down at the end of every booking. And if you do six right. or seven bookings a night, that means you've made the bed seven times, cleaned yeah. the shower seven times. Yeah, right. And then if you're not in bookings, you're doing the laundry quite often and there's quite a lot of just up and down the stairs and all of this. I got really fit. Yeah, I bet. Really <laughs> super fit. Um, and, you know, there's quite a lot of just killing time as well. So, yeah, okay. Um, it's not all, you know, hammering away at it, you know, for nine or 12 hours a yeah. night. And a lot of it is also talking. So clients come in and they want to talk. And, and some just come in and massage. not want sex at all, just want to chat. Yeah, absolutely. Some of them just want to have a cuddle. So really just lie there and, and feel the body of a woman against him and that, they would be happy to lie there for an hour, just like that. Would you find times like that almost more strange because it was so intimate with a stranger? Yeah. Where, yeah, just hugging or kissing, I would almost find bizarrely harder than detaching from actual intercourse. Absolutely. I had one client, he was a regular and he was a very sweet man, very quiet and shy, as a lot of them are. Mm. And they, they, they just broke my heart, these guys. Yeah. I didn't find them kind of sleazy, I just found them, you know, forlorn, yeah. really. There were so many lonely men, I'd never understood how, len how many and how scared they were of going, say, to a club and picking up girls or anything. They were yeah. so isolated and the only place they could get female company was the brothel. And yeah, I right. was like his girlfriend, mm. I suppose, that he could just afford to see once a fortnight, maybe. And he was literally come in and just lie on top of me, like lie his entire length on top of me and hold me for an hour and not speak. Wow. That's all he did, you know. And then we'd have a little chat and he'd get up and leave again. And I just found it really, yeah, yeah it was harder to keep the emotional distance because some, it's someone's yearning and loneliness and that so you're in contact with. Broken as a human, you know. You'd learn so Sweet. much about different humans and, and how they work. And these very generous generous men who you could imagine would just adore mm. you know, his, a girlfriend if they had one. And then other men who were just very confused about what they expected. Lots of nervousness. Yeah. And then, you know, young guys would come in all cocky and <laughs> want to show up to their mates. But you know, once you got them in the room on their own, they were really adorable. Yeah. And then some guys who felt so uncomfortable going into a brothel and feeling like they were weak for doing it and, you know, that they were, must seem desperate right. and that we'd be judging them, that they'd be really horrible to us to prove a point okay. to themselves that they weren't, you know, that, that, that we needed them, not they needed us. Yeah, and all right, right, You know, right. the emotional politics of it are fascinating. And I um, would be. And would you just have to figure out the character and go with... Yeah, yeah. And kind of, but every now and then I'd get a bit of resistance. So if someone was really treating me with contempt, mm. I wouldn't have it. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, just yeah. wouldn't take it. I got better and better. At the start I was very, you know, um, docile. Yeah. But as I went along I realised that I was the one that had the power in that room. Yeah. I had all the power, really, mm. um, and I was happy to, you know, pretend to be a little bit less powerful if that yeah. was part of the deal of the service, but not if it was meant that someone was going to abuse me. Not if it was compromising you too much, yeah. No.